Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to sync a document library to your desktop through uh, OneDrive. So the idea is that anything that you uh, change either on a document library, on the web or on the desktop will be synced and uh, that will be more convenient. So let's see how it works. Now you can sync a whole document library or you can sync only a folder. So I will create a new document library. Let's call it uh, Demo Army. That's my name. And um, I see it here. I'll create some folders. I've HR and IT. IT. So in order to sync the whole folder, the whole document library, I have the icon here of sync. I click sync. I'll mark this always allow this uh, this link and I'll click open Microsoft OneDrive. It will sync and then uh, I can press close. Now if I go here to the Explorer, I will see that under the name of the tenant, I have um, the synced document libraries. So in my case, the name of the site is Demo Teams and the, the name of the library is Demo Army. So here at both of the folders, I see that the status is that it's um, sitting on the cloud. That means it doesn't take any uh, storage from your um, computer. But if you want to keep it um, always on your computer, I can right click on the folder and I can click always keep it on this device. And then you'll see that it's a green check mark. So anything I upload here will also be uploaded or any change is synced between. But what happens if I want to sync only one folder? So I'll create a new document library. In this case, I'll call it uh, the, uh, happy day. I'll create one folder or two. Now, if I click on one of the folders, for some reason, um, the sync button disappears. So the trick is actually, is to go within the folder and now I see the sync. And my idea is that only this folder will be synced, not the whole document library. I'll press sync, it will do something. I'll press close. And now if I go here, Voila, I see that actually the sync of folder two is here. You can see, and actually if I upload something here, just to demonstrate that it's the proper thing. So I will take this document. I uploaded it to happy days folder. And now I will see that this is now here. So this is the link only for the folder. The others is actually the whole document library. Now uh, I'll give you some tips. Um, document library has also a new feature which is called um, add short shortcut to OneDrive. This actually adds a link to the OneDrive of this folder. But this um, this adding actually causes sometimes many problems of syncing of document libraries. And therefore, um, I can also uh, tell you that SharePoint Maven, Maven uh, Greg Zelfold said it's really, really uh, not recommended and it causes lots of problems and all of a sudden uh, these sync libraries are not uh, synced. So uh, please try to avoid it until Microsoft uh, solves it. 
Um, so this is the tip. So if we on want to sync the whole library, we click here sync. If we want only a folder, we need to go in the folder and to click sync. By the way, you can also sync um, shared uh, OneDrive folders. So if I go to the OneDrive and I will go to something which is shared. Let's see what is shared. Let's see. I could go to my shared and I will see that this is okay. This is shared. I can go inside and here, this is of user that's called test. I can click the sync and this will actually add this um, folder to the same place. So, so let's see how we see it. So we see this is the user test two and this is all of the documents which are synced from the share of OneDrive. So this is another way to have access to it um so hope you learned something if you like it subscribe to my channel thank you for listening and uh have a good day goodbye